Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 26th of June 2025. I hope the sound quality is coming through much better than even the, the games that I played today. I just realized there were so many uh, things to click. Uh, I've just realized that I've been missing one. For some somehow or another my microphone was disconnected recently and after reconnecting it uh, there were various things that I've had to do and I've only just realized I missed one out so hopefully we'll be back with reasonable sound now. I noticed even the ones that I sounded that I recorded today were sounding very dead and I thought still something wrong. Investigated and found it out. Good morning or evening friends. Here's your friendly announcer. I have serious news to pass on to everybody. What I'm about to say could mean the world's disaster. Could change your joy and laughter to tears and pain. It's that love's in need of love today. If you recognize that as a Stevie Wonder lyric, congratulations. You know the genius of Stevie Wonder. Uh, and I, don't worry, he's not dead. Um, this is not. Uh, I'm not about to announce uh, the par his passing or anything like that. No. Well, what I was thinking was, uh, you know, I'm a jazz fan mostly. Uh, I like all kinds of music really, um, but I, I mostly listen to jazz. But Stevie Wonder is never far from my heart, even though it's from since the 1970s until today. Uh, I could never go more than a couple of weeks without listening to a Stevie Wonder album. Uh, he is so great. Um, and he has songs to cover everything in life. I was thinking, uh, you know, if wh whatever it is, political stuff, discrimination, uh, love, feeling happy, f happiness, uh, joy, you know, pain and sorrow. It's, he's got it all. There is a, there's a, at least one song in the Stevie Wonder canon that will... Um, contribute to your mood, improving your mood, explaining things. Uh, he's just a great genius. And I think uh, over the weeks that come, I'm going to occasionally just put in some random Stevie Wonder lyrics because I think, well, love's in need of love today. That's for sure. Uh, no, just uh, just so much of his stuff is just uh, really appreciant. Um, of every situation and of course we definitely love is definitely in need of love today because hate's going around as later in the song he sings hate's going around breaking many hearts stop it please before it's gone too far of course you will just you're just hearing my voice reading the words not um, giving you the emotion that Stevie passes on in his wonderful voice and the just his expression is just fantastic I absolutely adore Stevie Wonder uh, he's a great musical genius of our time. And uh, I guess my favorite Stevie Wonder album will, have, will be Inner Visions. I think if you ask me the favorite. That, Love's in Need of Love today is from the uh, Songs in the Key of Life. If you want to search that out, if you're not familiar with Stevie Wonder. Huh? Really? But you might be too young to know Stevie Wonder, of course. His last album was uh, many years ago, and that was actually a really good one, a surprising, you know, normally when artists are quiet for a long time and their early stuff, you know, they're very good in a young age. Remember, Stevie Wonder was a, a star at 12, age 12, little Stevie Wonder, as they called him. Um, uh, you know, when, when, when artists don't record stuff for years and years, when they try to make a bit of a comeback or they do something new, it's often not particularly good. But that is a, his last album was also very good. Uh, it's a long time ago now, though, so you may not be familiar too familiar with him. If you're young, if you're young, you're probably not watch, watching this channel anyway. So I think I've just <laughs> ru ruined that uh, that hypothesis. Anyway, let's get on with the game of Sudoku then. So what have I got for you now? It's the El Pais difficult level. Now this one is a, often a difficult game, and we'll see how it goes usually needs pencil marks from me, a, a quick warning ahead of time, because it normally has some kind of Sudoku solution at the end. We we'll start with fives blocking across. Let's get ourselves a five here. This is normally harder than the expert level, I would suggest. We've got twos blocking down here and down here. There's a two. Not always, but normally. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Ooh, only one three on the board. Six across here and six up there. Six blocking both of those squares. There's six blocking this square, six blocking this square. Hello, six. Seven up here, up there, and across there. Seven across this way and this way. Seven up there. Seven there is what I'm trying to say. <coughs> Seven and five block down here. That means those two squares must be seven and five. So seven blocking back up here and seven across there will give me seven in that square. This is seven and five. So the missing numbers here are four, six, and nine. We've got a four and a six there. Uh, missing numbers up here then are not four, six, or nine. They are one, three, eight. <coughs> Uh, not too helpful just yet. What's lacking here? One, four, nine. Is that right? We've got one and nine together, so that's going to be a four. Uh, now, I do believe I said four in one of those squares there, did I not? Uh, what did we have down here? Seven and five in those, yes. So four is in one of those squares there, four across there and four down there. Will give me a four in that square. Four across here, four across there. And there's a four, 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 forever. One, three, four, eight in this column, I think. One, three, four, eight. Double check, double check, double check. Yeah, we're okay. One, eight, and four in this row. That's got to be a three. And one and four here, so that's an eight. Eight across here, eight up there. There's an eight. Three blocking up here, so three in one of those squares they're blocking across. That must be our three. Three blocking up here, up here, and there's a three. And also three across there, there's a three. This will be an eight. Four blocking up there, there's a four. We're left with one and two here. Uh, so one blocking down here, one blocking down here, there's the one. Or just look and see what's missing at the end here. <coughs> one is one of the in one of these two squares here, so that's not a one. That is a one. This is two. two down here there's a two this is a five last number to get in this column is nine I'm going to 
if we're getting close to the point where I'm going to put in pencil marks. But as I said, the, normally this has some kind of special Sudoku solution at the end. Four and eight block across here. That puts four and eight into those squares and leaves me with a five there. Four blocks this square, four blocks across there, there's a four, six blocks across the top here. That gives me a six in that square. Five and six block down here, five and six across here, five and six across there. So that's a pair of five and six. The last number for this row then is going to be a three. <clears throat> two, three block up here. That means that's two and three. And this is not. This has got to be an eight. We, I guess we must be getting perilously close to that point <laughs> where the Sudoku needs to take over. But I think we're missing 179 in this column. Again, double check, double check, 179. Yes, and 1 and 9 are here. So that's a 7. 7 across this way. 7 down here, there's a 7, 5 wasn't it? 5 blocking down there, there's our 5. Wow. Okay, the missing numbers here now are 4, 6, 9, 4, 6, 9 in different rows. Uh, up here, does that, make, that mean anything? 9. Three up here, three down there, there's a three. <coughs> one blocking here, there's a one. This is a nine. This is a nine for this row. <coughs> and here we are just looking for eight. And this is a one. Further than I thought. One across here, one across there, one down here, there's a one. The last number down here is a nine. 9 across here, 9 across there, there is a 9, <coughs> excuse me, 6 blocking here, there's a 6, last number there is a 4, 4 across here, there's a 4, last number there is an 8, can't believe how far I've got, I think I may have actually managed to get to the end of the game without pencil marks, which is pretty unusual for the difficult level of puzzle from El Pais, I say may have, because I'm not convinced just yet, there may still be it may still hold a trick up its sleeve, you never can tell. <coughs> Missing digit here is five. Five blocking, no I think not now. Five there. The last number to place here is six. Six down here, six across there, there's a six. And the last number to go there is um, two. Two up there, there's a two. This is three. Three blocking, nope, three blocking to the bottom here will give us three in that square. This is an eight, 
eight blocking up there. There's wow, amazing. Uh, much less difficult than it normally is. The difficult level puzzle from El Pais today, uh, not challenging us too much, unlike it's a regular, uh, unlike the way that it does regularly, I should say. Okay, thanks for joining me. Uh, see you tomorrow morning, I guess. Take care. Bye bye.